It is time to wake up, my brothers and sisters. Open your eyes. See what God is trying to show you. Forget about the world. Don't turn around and don't look back, for the Lord has not made your head to look backwards. He made it to look left, right, up, and down. But to look backwards, you have to turn around. Press forward to the crown. We are more than conquerors with the heads, not the tails. begin with a state of emergency in flood ravaged Louisiana this morning. More than 20,000 people have been rescued after historic flood water swept across parts of the state over the weekend and at least four people have died. President Obama has signed a disaster declaration and has ordered federal aid to supplement recovery efforts. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards said in a news conference yesterday that as many as 10,000 people were in shelters as a result of the flooding. I woke up this morning and I started screaming. I was like, oh my God. And it, I mean, it was just a few inches and then all of a sudden it's, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. We can't use any more rain. We don't need any more rain. We just try to get these people out here. I'm just, it's, it's devastating. You have no idea. The Coast Guard says they have rescued more than 100 people from rooftops, vehicles, and trailers in the Baton Rouge area. And throughout the state, Good Samaritans have also been seen going door to door offering help. At this point, it is still too early to... God's people know, you know, what it's like, you know, all God's people know that when you, you try to tell somebody about revelations, the end time, the apocalypse, you know, the last days, use any of those terms, if you will. And people, a lot of people, have an automatic shut-off switch in their brain so that they can ignore exactly what you're talking about. And God said this would happen. God said he going to put a strong delusion over those that refused for so long to not listen to the word of the Lord. You know, so he's going to put a strong delusion on people. And uh, so you notice if you talk to people and, you know, you're trying to tell them, hey, we in the last days, any of that. Shut off, switch, you know what I'm saying? The brain just gets shut off. Strong delusion. A lot of people are going to be fooled. We got to be aware of these things. You know, God showed me that people nowadays really have a really broad view of the definition of destiny. You know, and God wanted me to show you that destiny, you know, and I bet. If y'all do the research, destiny like in Hebrew or whatever the most, you know, the Aramaic or whatever languages is the oldest out there. I bet you a destiny could only be determined as either you're going to heaven 
or you're going to hell. Because nowadays, I believe that when people think about, you know, they're in charge of their own destiny, you know, they're just looking at the worldly aspect and looking at uh, their achievements and things and not looking at the destination that you're going to go when you die. So, you know, God wanted me to show you destiny, you know, is heaven or hell. Wherever your destiny, you know, you are in charge of your own destiny. You can keep doing wrong and you can keep doing foul and your destiny is going to be hell. But God's saying he'll give you a chance to turn it all around and change your destiny if you just come to him first. In Jesus' name.